Hey, what is up guys? My name is Andy. Welcome to the show. Today, I want to talk to you about the Omega C Master Professional 300 in blue configuration. First of all, this watch got me thinking. Is the weight of the Rolex off worth it? Having this watch at any AD available and at $4,000 less, I find it a bit silly to wait such a long time for something that this watch can accomplish and maybe even more. The experience of getting a brand new Omega is incredible. Well, at least at my AD. They are always super welcoming and let me try on all the watches that I'm interested in and they don't give me any hassle for coming in several times when I'm not sure what to get. When I was ready to buy the watch, they had ready a champagne bottle for me with my purchase. Now that's what I call attention to detail and it makes you feel that you made the right decision. To have a brand new Omega feels amazing. From the unboxing to the wearability and the prestige that this brand has, it is an unbeatable feeling. The heft and the reassurance on your wrist that you have a watch that can withstand anything you put it through is second to none. The Omega C Master Professional Diver has been in the market for a while. This watch was released with its current configuration in 2018. With its new ceramic bezel and dial and its 42 millimeters in diameter, it differs from its predecessor. But does the Seamaster Professional Diver still worth it in 2022? With newer watches from Tudor, Oris, and maybe Tag Heuer having fresher and thinner designs and affordable prices, it's very hard to keep looking at the S&P 300. Watches like the Tudor Pelagos 39 with newer materials, sleek design and overall better wearability is hard to even consider the Seamaster Professional. And that's not even getting to the price comparison. So should you even consider the Seamaster Professional in 2022? Well, first of all, what is the Seamaster Professional and why should you buy it? The Seamaster Professional is well known by its appearance in the 1995 film 007 GoldenEye. The watch was out a year prior, but it hadn't really gained any popularity or hype before the movie. This was the move that saved Omega back in the 1990s from going down with the quartz crisis. Since then, the Omega C Master Professional was a hit. First in 41mm case with a quartz movement, then in an automatic configuration, then in a ceramic non-wave dial, and now we have this 42mm in diameter case and it's all ceramic laser edge dial and ceramic bezel. Very modern and quite a luxurious feeling. So the watch is 42mm in diameter as discussed earlier a lock to lock of 50 millimeters, a lock width of 20 millimeters, and it doesn't taper down to the buckle. It is 20 millimeters throughout all the bracelet. It has a clasp that has double pushers to open and it reveals a really cool milled clasp. And if you turn around the clasp, you can see the push button that you can use to slide and adjust your bracelet. Very cool feature and it also has the diver's extension. The thickness of this watch is 13.5 millimeters. It's not that thick, but it's not thin either. What I find most attractive of this watch is the blue color. It plays with the light very cool and with the ceramic bezel, ceramic dial and the crystal, it just plays with the light incredible and it is very shiny. The watch feels very hefty on your wrist and sometimes very heavy. The bracelet sometimes feel very smooth, but sometimes it's just very rough on some edges. But put a rubber strap on this watch and it is incredible. What a beauty of a watch and it really doesn't feel that heavy on your wrist. The bezel is not the best to turn, but it really does the job. The only thing is that the edge of the bezel is not that creepy as we already know. So now this is why for me it is very, very worth it to buy this watch against other watches and affordable watches. The movement. This movement is impressive. 
The Boomin has a really rare 3.5 hertz movement, so that means it vibrates at 25,000 vibrations per hour. It's not your common 28,000 vibrations per hour. The finishing on this beautiful movement is incredible and it is as beautiful or maybe more beautiful to watch the movement than the watch itself. It has a magnetic resistance of 50,000 gauss, so it's pretty much a magnetic and a 55 hours of power reserve. This movement is a master chronometer. And when you get this watch, you can see how it, how your watch performed in the website. So really this part of the watch, the movement is solely the one that takes up all of that desire to buy this watch. For me, this watch could have been 41 millimeters in the case, and it could be a little bit more thinner. So many have been comparing this watch to the Rolex Sub, and for me, I don't put them side by side. Yes, they are very much rivals, but I think that the Seamaster Professional is in a different category than the Rolex Sub. It's not that the Rolex Sub is better than the Seamaster, but I think that they shouldn't compete. Yes, both of those are 300 meters of water resistance, but I think that the movement of, of the Seamaster Professional is in a different league than the movement of the Rolex Sub. And let's face it, they are very different in design. But I get why people keep comparing them. It is Rolex versus Omega. It has always been. So in my conclusion, is the Seamaster Professional worth it in 2022? The answer is yes. But I would look for this watch in the used market. That could be an incredible price competition to the other brands like Oris or Tudor or Tag Heuer. And now you can compete with those watches and now you don't worry about the price. It can cost almost the same or the same as a Tudor Black Bay 58. Well, that's it for today, guys. Thank you, thank you for watching. Remember to like, subscribe, and comment down below. It really does help to the channel. And if you really want to see and continue seeing more of these videos, you just go ahead and subscribe and click the bell button to receive my notifications. Thank you guys for watching. And remember, guys, I am Andy, and I'll be here spending time watching time.